and standing by with all the eats and drinks today. We've got Alexandra Canal, Ali Canal standing by Yahoo Finance's own entertainment and eats reporter as well. Ali, what do we need to know? Yeah, Brad, I mean, White Claw Summer is back, but with a twist. The brand announced its first premium offering dubbed White Claw Surf. Now I have all of the new flavors, just so we could get a little taste test in there. And it sounds like, judging from the names alone, that it's going to have a very tropical flavor palette. We have wild berry acai, we got watermelon lime, we got some uh, citrus yuzu smash, some tropical pomelo. So it sounds like it's going to be very fruity. I'm going to try this citrus yuzu. Now, I heard that yuzu is a cross between a lemon, a lime, and a grapefruit. Now, grapefruit is my favorite white claw flavor, so we'll see if this can live up to the hype. Okay, you know what? It already has a different smell to it. Okay. Very interesting. It's very different than the white claw that I'm used to. Usually I feel like that one is a lot more fizzy, bubbly. This seems to have more flavor to me, which I actually think is a good thing, especially as competition heats up with high noons and some of those more canned cocktail flavors. All right, let's, let's, let's just try one more just to get it in there. I want to, all right, let's do the acai one because I feel like that's a different type of flavor. All right, let's see. This one's pretty good. I gotta say, I do think this has a lot more flavor than the OG White, White Claw. So I think I'm gonna give it a 3.8 to a four out of five. I'm very specific with my ratings, but yeah, you know what? I don't think it's that bad. And fun fact, by the way, that White Claw is the official partner at South by Southwest. So we'll have to talk to our own Julie Hyman, who's on the ground there, because I'm sure a lot of techies, a lot of media peeps are drinking these. So I'm curious what the reviews are on the ground, but honestly, not that bad. A lot more flavor than I was expecting, for sure. Well, I know I trust your judgment on that, Ali. I've never tried it before, but I, I'll, I'll take your word for it. Now, in terms of the hard seltzer category, it's fizzled in recent years. How has White Claw fed? Yeah, you're right, Rochelle. The hard seltzer category has weakened since its crazy rise in 2018 when sales volume hit peak growth of 246%. Flash forward to today, and we've seen some serious declines. According to a new note from Bank of America, hard seltzer volume sank 2.5% year over year with all key players seeing volume levels shrink. You're seeing that chart on your screen right now. But I will say that the exception was Mark Anthony Brands. That's White Claw's parent company. In addition to Molson Coors, a big loser was AB InBev's hard seltzer profile that dipped 13% year over year. So they're not doing too crazy hot in the category, but White Claw is clearly still the leader in this space. Volume growth of 1% year over year and a market share sitting at 43%. So it's something to keep in mind as this category continues to evolve. I mentioned canned cocktails, Jack Daniels, mm. by the way, is rolling out their own canned cocktails. So that's something to watch. And you just have to remember with anything trendy, what goes yeah. up must come down.